This is just a quick video on how to set up your file structure and really just get uh, start building a website in Visual Studio Code. Uh, the very first thing you want to do is create a working folder. Create what's called a root folder. And the root folder is where you're going to save everything that you use on your web page. Okay, so anything that's on your hard drive that needs to end up on the website or on the web page has to be in this folder. Um, there are some exceptions, right? So like if you have a video and you've hosted it on YouTube, you don't need to download it and save it in the root folder, okay? Because it's already accessible um, to everyone on YouTube. But if you have um, anything that you need, like that you personally have, such as like photos or some of your design work that you want to put on your website, you need to move it into the root folder. So um, let's create that root folder. Um, I don't know if you're on Windows, but on Apple, you just right click and click new folder. And I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it uh, web-design, okay? Now, I'm not gonna use a space because um, spaces are tricky for the internet. It, it doesn't like when you use a space, okay? So we're just not gonna do it today. Once you get your root folder made, just drag it into Visual Studio and you'll see that sort of color change there so that you know you, you're doing what you wanna do. And then over on the sidebar here, your folder should appear. Okay, now you may have more than one folder open, okay? Um, why would you want one more than one folder? Well, there's a few reasons, but imagine you're like programming from Microsoft you might have the English, Spanish, Japanese, German, you know, all those versions open at once and you're changing the text in all of them, right? And you need to see all of them and make sure they're all the same. Uh, that's just one small example. It, it could also just be that you're managing different client jobs at the same time. Um, for this course, we're probably only gonna be ever managing one website at a time. So you'll only ever see one folder over here um, and that's just fine. Um, open editors here. By editors, it just means these tabs, okay? So that'll make sense in a second here once we get more, more tabs. In our folder, right, in our web design folder, we want to create a new file. Okay, so just click the new file button here. And you'll see it opens up a little text field where I'm going to type in index html okay why index.html just because the people who invented the world wide web decided that index would be the default home page so when a browser navigates to your uh, root folder it's always 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 going to open index.html by default so that's what we name our home page just hit enter, All right? And you can see that now we have this open, right? We have this file open to, to code in, and it's also shown up here over in um, open editors, right? Because one of the one of the code pages we have open. Cool. Let's go back to our folder and create one more new file. And this one is going to be called styles. CSS. Okay. Now, um, some people call their main style sheet, style sheet, they'll call it main.css. Some people just call it style.css. Uh, some people have like almost one CSS file per page, right? So they'll call it home.css. Um, we're going to use one, maybe two. So I think it's okay to just call it styles.css. Right? We'll hit enter. And you'll see that gets opened up here, right? It's up in our tabs, and it's also here in our open editors. Cool. All right. Now, um, you may want to use something called Live Preview. All right. Now, uh, Live Preview is an extension you can install. And what it does is it means that anytime you type something into the code, it will automatically show up in a browser that you have open, okay? 
So um, let's get something in here so that I can show you what that looks like. Okay. The first thing you want to do whenever you're creating a web page is press Shift 1, right, which creates an exclamation point, and then just press the Tab key. And that will create what is called the um, HTML skeleton or the head, the body, and the HTML. So I'm going to turn on word wrap so that it, you know, so it doesn't run off the side of the page like that. All right. And I'm just going to get something in here. I'm going to put a heading in here, H1, hello world, and I'm going to save it. Okay. Now what if I want to open a browser so that I can like literally see what I'm doing as I do it? There should be a button down here that says go live. Okay. I don't see go live. So this is something that sometimes happens if you've just newly created a document. All right. We just newly created this index file and nine times out of 10, the way to fix it is just hit command Q or, or um, alt F4, just quit the software or do file, quit visual studio code. Okay. Now I'm going to reopen it. All right. And then, you know, it remembered to open, you know, our last project. If it doesn't just drag the folder back in. Okay. And look, now that we've rebooted, we see go live. So I'm going to click go live and there we go. It's going to open this up for us. And it's kind of handy because say I had a paragraph here. I'll just add another heading h1 i'll type in hello again and then as soon as i save it file save it automatically updates the browser okay um, which is kind of cool now sometimes i find that you know maybe you don't have the extension installed or maybe there's something different about your computer setup that is preventing the, the live preview from working, there is another option. Okay. So this is if, if you don't see the go live here, click on this guy here, run and debug this little bug and, and a play button. Click that and then click run and debug. Okay. And it's going to load up Chrome browser. And actually, because I've done this before, it doesn't ask me anymore. But if you hadn't done this before, a dialog would pop up showing your browsers and it would say, which browser do you want to use? Okay. So just remember, you may see that. Um, and this one works a little bit differently. So if I type in, uh, hello once more. Um, and then I save, file, save, nothing happens. Um, all you have to do is hit this. Okay. So, um, if you can't get the live preview, the go live, this guy here, if you can't get that running, then, you know, you can always just use this. All you have to do is hit that refresh. Okay. Um, if you are doing this, just don't forget to save every now and then. Okay. Uh, it should, it should save when you hit this, but, uh, I really just recommend remember to save it from time to time. Okay. Cause you may do a pile of work and then close and then you forgot to save because you, you were just focused on what you were doing. I just recommend saving uh, frequently. Okay. All right. Let's do one more little piece of setup. We can see that here's those files we created. Let's create one more thing here, um, a new folder, and let's call it um, images. All right, and this is where I'm going to put all of my images. So if I have any images anywhere on my computer that I want to be on my website, I need to copy them in here. So I'm going to get this uh, cat picture and just paste it into my images folder. 
Now when I want to pull an image up onto my website, if I type in IMG and then press tab, it's going to say, okay, what is the path to that image? Well, it's in a folder called images and it's called cat6.jpg. Then I'll hit my handy green button and it's going to load up my image. And you might say, oh my goodness, um, the cat is huge. I want to make the cat smaller. Well, remember, if we need to change the size of something, that's going to happen in CSS, right? Because that's style. And CSS is for style, which means layout, color, um, position, um, size, all those things. So let's go to our style sheet. And let's, um, let's put in some code. So how do we select an image? How do we select this image? Well, we type in IMG, right? That means what I'm about to type in is style for the image. It's information for the image. And then I'm gonna use curly brackets to sort of tell the code, tell the browser where this starts and where it ends. So everything in between the curly brackets is what I want to style image like, what I want to do to image. And we're going to say width, I want to make it 100%, meaning 100% of the width, the width of the, of the browser. Okay. And when I save it, you're going to be like, oh no, it's not working. You know, why isn't it working? Um, the reason is because I have not told index where to find the style sheet, right? So yes, I'm, I'm using the style sheet to tell the image what to look like, but I haven't told my index.html to go and look at that style sheet for information. So let's do that now. We'll go to the head section, right? Which starts here and ends here, right? And I just got to get some space in. Just, I just hit enter a couple times. And I'm gonna type in L-I-N-K because we're linking our style sheet. And then I'll press tab. And then it's gonna want the path to my style sheet, which because the style sheet is right beside index, there there is no path, right? It's just they're right beside each other. So we can just type in styles.css, save that. Now, when we hit our handy green button, our cat will always be 100% of the width of the screen, right? Um, if we go to our styles and we change it to 50%, our cat image will always be half the width of the screen. See that? It's always going to be half. Um, let's explore the pathing a little bit more. Let's invent a scenario where you have three style sheets and you like to stay tidy so you're going to create a folder called css and you're going to keep your style sheet in that folder okay now if we look it doesn't work anymore why because this path is wrong so from index we need to go into css and then we need to get our styles file so all we got to do is add CSS slash, and then it will see it. And now our image works again. Okay. So that's just the basic setup of this. Um, you know, uh, that's kind of all you need to do to get this going, uh, to get a file set up. Um, so thank you and um, have a great day.